Welcome back, Brew Dudes. My name is Hannah, and I do beer reviews. Today, I'm doing the usual three different brews, um, one of which is going to be a cider. Um, so I'm just going to get started. I'm going to start out today with our Woodchuck Amber Cider. Um, this is from Vermont. They opened their doors and started handing out awesome ciders in 1991. They make a ton of ciders. Um, I've had a lot of their ciders. This one specifically I have had. Uh, this is their sweet red apple cider. Um, I had it several, several years ago when it was actually still in bottles. I have not tried it since I switched the cans. Typically this does not change anything though. Um, my dog is being crazy and walking around. I apologize for the background noise. But <clears throat> anyways, so last time I tried this, this was in the middle of the sweetness to dry um, chart. Ooh. Mm, you can definitely smell the apples right off the bat. It smells very nice and sweet. So this has a pretty, pretty nice golden tint to it. Mm, doesn't look like it's heavily carbonated either. Mmm, it smells like gala apples. It just reminds me of like biting straight into an apple when I was a kid. Just delicious. Very crisp. Mmm. So yeah, this is super easy to drink. Obviously, it's a cider. Um, I feel like it's definitely right there in the middle of that sweetness. It's not too dry. Obviously, um, I've had some ciders that are incredibly dry. This is nice though. It's honestly just like apple juice it tastes delicious uh five percent alcohol so sessionable yeah no it's great alcohol is really hidden well it's just a cider guys easy to drink if you're looking for something really nice and fun uh to bring to your fall party this is nice i feel like you can drink this all year long on a hot day or on a really nice cold night like tonight um i like it great job woodchuck Mm. Mm. I like it's not too sweet. Very light. Cool. Vermont does a ton of really good ciders, so it's kind of their thing. Next, we are going to do the Chosen One. This is my 903. They're out of Sherman, Texas. They started producing brews in 2013. This specific one is a coconut ale. Which I'm really excited about because I love coconut on anything. Like, definitely a coconut person. <laughs> oh, that's much lighter than I thought it was going to be. All right. There's some stuff floating around in this beer. I did not expect that, like, at all. Can you see that? Yeah. I got this beer from Spex. And I don't see the date. I'm guessing it's okay. Floaties are like semi-normal. So I'm not going to like knock it. Okay. So nice golden color. I really did expect this to be um, a darker color. I don't know why. <laughs> but as you can see, the head is already dispersed. It was a pretty nice white head. Um, did not stick around long though. It was quick. Little to no lacing on this one. So right on the nose you get like fresh coconut. But on the back end it's like super bready and almost roasted coconut. So I mean that fresh on the front. Roasted on the back. It's kind of weird. A biscuit <laughs> tastes just like you know real biscuity um you do get some toasted coconut in there but it's not as heavy or as like forward as I was hoping it would be I don't know it's okay it makes me wonder though 
how old this beer is. Like, sometimes, not knocking specs, but I know that uh, the one that's close to where I am, they do tend to sell out of date beer. I went there because I was like, oh, I'm bored and I want to look at some new beers and see what I can find that I haven't seen or haven't tried at least. So this is definitely not as exciting as I was hoping it would be. Um, the mouthfeel is a lot lighter as well, not as creamy. Because I'm thinking like coconut cream, like this is going to be super delicious. I'm thinking toasted malt, maybe a little bit of like, I don't know, a little heavier. Beer Advocate gave this an 82%, which I hate to say it, I don't agree. It's not a terrible beer. Um, it's just not as true to the name as I was hoping it would be. Um, the mouthfeel especially. I think that's what really let me down is the mouthfeel. I thought it was going to coat my palate and just kind of like, I don't know, hang out. Let me get that deep coconut mm, roasted malt thing. Mm. I mean, okay. Whatever, 903. This next beer, you guys are going to see a lot from, not a lot, you're going to see a couple of them um, from the specific brewer uh, because I have not tried them at all and I'm very, very excited about it. I know I say that every single episode, but that's because beer excites me. So, today I'm going to be trying a beer. Bear with me, okay? This is an Icelandic beer. It's called Einstock. Einstock. I think it's Einstock. Sorry, again. But this is an Icelandic Wee Heavy, um, which is a Scottish ale. Okay. So I love a Wee Heavy. I haven't had a whole lot of them. Um, this is the first time I'm doing one on my show. So I'm pumped up about this. I love the can because I'm kind of a plaid person, thanks to my husband. He's like that plaid guy. So um the can is kind of flat and really interesting so anyways um i'm just gonna try this beer it is nine percent alcohol so i want to see how well they hide the alcohol content um at least balance it Oof, god i love love opening beer okay Ooh, so right off this color is nice it looks thick thick Oh, I got a little excited. Okay. So, nice amber color. Um, it is not, like, iridescent, like, at all. Like, okay. A little cloudy. Nice khaki head to it. That little taste I had is nice and creamy. So, a little bit of hints of smokiness going on. Some fruitiness. <clears throat> mm. So, ooh, it tickled my nose. <laughs> this has definitely got a little, like, tinge of chocolate to it. Nothing heavy, though. Not like I think it's going to be, like, chocolatey like a stout. Okay. Dark toffee. There's a lot going on. Like, I feel like there's going to be layers to this beer as I drink it. And I'm excited about that. I'm drinking it in a tulip glass as well. I feel like it's going to really open it up. I don't have the proper glass that you're supposed to drink a wee heavy in. And it's bugging me. So, Amazon is going to get my money very soon. Because <laughs> I want the right glass. I've definitely improved my glassware since I started this. And it makes a difference. Especially the IPA glass that I bought. Like, changes so much for me like it opens it up anyways I can talk all day about glassware but we're gonna go back to the wee heavy mm. okay Whew. layers for sure I I really like this beer So rich, toasted caramel. Mm. 
molasses. Um, sometimes when you draw air across your tongue, when you're tasting a beer with several different layers to it, it opens up a lot more. Um, it's the same thing as like letting wine air okay like or not the same but very similar like you're opening up different things that you wouldn't have tasted before um when oxygen hits that product mm, so a little bit of cola okay cherry right on the tip of your tongue bitter hops um i feel like a lot of people panic when they hear bitter hops. Um, this is really necessary in a beer like this, like going back to the layers. So it's got all of these things going on with like the toffee and like there's this like breadiness to it and it's heavy, but like with the molasses and everything, you want those hops, that bitter hops kind of cut through it to open up all of those other flavors. So it's a, got like this little bit of a spicy, um, spicy floral kind of hop to it that bitters out right at the end um but it really at the end of it all it balances so well and it works together i feel like that nine percent is hidden incredibly well um this beer is perfect for the winter time because i'm trying to like snuggle up drink a beer and not have to get up and get another beer get up and get another beer not that i do <laughs> but this is really nice something i could sit back and sip on um this being the first beer that I've had by them, um, there's two other ones that I'm going to try tomorrow. I'm going to try one of them for the show, um, which I'm excited about. They have a toasted porter and a white ale. So those two I'm excited about. I'm going to try them. But right now, this is great. The mouthfeel is medium, but coating. It's still thick enough, like not thick like a stout, but it's thick enough to coat my mouth and really just every time I breathe in it's like delicious so I know I've said I don't like lingers lingers <laughs> but I really do enjoy this beer it's really nice um it does have a little bit of sweetness to it as well but again it goes right back to that that spicy hop at the end cutting it in like haha it's not gonna be residual sugar all over your mouth it's delicious so Wow. Uh, Beer Advocate gives this an 89%. I feel like it does not do it justice. I know it's a really high score on Beer Advocate, but I want to give this like a 4.9 out of 5. This is amazing. I really like this beer. Um, it's my very first Icelandic beer, so I look forward to the other ones I'm going to try. Everything I've had tonight is... No, not everything. <laughs> the cider awesome like when i'm gonna try a hard cider and that's what i expect um i think that it might even be too sweet for some people and that's okay but woodchuck did a really good job with their amber sweet red apple cider um i feel like a lot of people get used to like what angry orchard and reds apple ale those are definitely very heavily sweet almost like wine coolers which if you like wine coolers that's okay but that means you'll like this this would be the next step in growing your palate try a cider um excuse me also something i did not mention before was the ciders are are gluten free so if you are gluten intolerant in any way this is a good thing like you have something you can drink you don't just have to stick with the like the awkward gluten removed beers, which there are some really good ones out there. But if you don't like beer in the first place, finding a drink that isn't going to make you break out and have a really bad headache and feel sick. Ciders can be your best friend then. You can just have a sessionable drink with your friends and there's options for you. Um, as, far, as far as the 903, the chosen one, I really feel like this is not... The one I chose okay I am almost convinced that maybe like maybe this is an old beer and I bought it unknowingly because that was really disappointing 903 like I've heard a lot of great things and I've had some really good things by them 
Um, I really like their stout. I think it's like Sasquatch stout or something. Anyways, I'm going to stop rambling. But 903, I'm disappointed in you. Um, the Einstock, love it. Love, love, love it. The Weed Heavy is delicious. If you like things like that, then check it out. Absolutely delicious. Um, you can find it at several retailers. Usually if you like Google it, you can find out where they are. Um, but so my number one is obviously going to be the Einstock. Number two is going to be the Woodchuck Amber um, Amber Cider. I'm not ranking 903. Sorry. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you had a good time, and I hope you enjoyed my review today. Um, I have some really good, really cool beers in the lineup um, for reviews coming up really soon. I have tomorrow, I have my very first fan beer that... I'm going to get to try. Someone was like, hey, I want you to try this beer. I'm going to give it to you to try. So I'm super excited about that. Can't wait to try it for you guys. And I hope you keep watching. Share it with your friends. Subscribe. And check me out, man. Have a great day. Bye.